Are you trying to post some dope stories on Instagram or just trying to post some really awesome videos? Stay tuned, I'm gonna show you exactly how to export your Instagram videos in Premiere Pro. Tyler here from Video Editing with Tyler White, and if you wanna learn how to edit video like a pro, start now by subscribing and hitting the bell so you don't miss anything. So before I think about doing anything with Premiere Pro, I first need to think about how I'm gonna shoot this video. So if I'm using a cell phone, I'm just gonna shoot the footage straight up and down like you would normally look at it on Instagram. If I'm using a camera, I'm gonna to wanna to shoot my videos vertically or in a portrait mode. So instead of holding your camera normal, you're gonna rotate it to the left or to the right, whatever's most comfortable for you. You can film horizontally, but your resolution's not going to be great when you export your video. And I'm gonna show you that in just a second. So once you have Premiere open up, the first thing you'll do is go up here to sequence, then select sequence settings. I'm gonna change the editing mode to custom and time base I'm gonna leave at 23.976 because I want my clips to be at 23.976. I'll then change my frame size. I'm going to flip flop this from 1080 and then I'll change this to 1920 and then I'm just going to press OK. And now you can see the frame is a vertical video now. So then I'm just going to grab my clip, drag it onto my timeline and I'm going to select keep existing settings because I don't want the video clip settings to change at all. And then click on the editing tab and as you can see the video is actually rotated the wrong way. And so what I can do to fix this, I'm gonna go over here to rotation and I'm gonna type in negative 90. So I just rotated my video 90 degrees. For your video, it might be a little bit different depending on how you shot your vertical video with your camera, whether you rotated it to the right or whether you rotated it to the left. So now I'll go in, add a couple more clips to my timeline. And when I scrub through these, they're not rotated the right direction. And here's a big tip. This is gonna save you so much time editing your videos. So click on the editing tab and I'm going to go to the first clip and I'm going to press Control C or Command C on Mac. And then I'm going to highlight the other clips that I want to rotate that 90 degrees. And then I'm going to right click and I'm going to click on Paste Attributes. Make sure that all these are selected and press OK. And what that did is it rotated all of my videos the way that I want them to be. Now let's say I want to add a horizontal shot clip to my timeline. So this clip was shot horizontally, not vertically with a DSLR. So I'll go over here to the clip and as you can see it is horizontally and it is rotated the right direction but it doesn't fill the frame so what we have to do to fix that is go over to editing and then just scale this up until it fills the frame. The downside to this is that it does take away from the resolution, but if it's absolutely necessary, then go ahead and keep it. You won't be able to tell much because you're most likely viewing the story on a cell phone where it's a lot harder to notice. Another thing that you wanna keep in mind is that on Instagram for stories, the cuts come every 15 seconds. So what I'll do is I'll come in here and I'll go to my 15 second mark and then I'll create a marker on the timeline. So what I'll do is go through and create markers so that I can see when the cut is coming up and I can plan to edit around that. So for the sake of this tutorial, I'm not gonna use all these clips. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and delete these. Once I'm ready to export, I'm gonna go up here to file, export, and then media. What I want to do first is make sure the format is set to H.264. I'll then go to preset and change that to YouTube 1080p full HD. I'll then go to output name and I'm going to name this test 2 and then press save. You can save it to wherever you want to save it to. Make sure that export video and audio is checked so that your audio and video exports with your video. And then I'm going to go down to the width and height of the video. Change this to 1080 and the height to 1920. And then we're gonna go down to this box and select it, render at maximum depth. And I'm gonna scroll down here to bitrate. I'm gonna change the bitrate encoding to CBR. And then my goal is to get the estimated file size down to at least 100 megabytes. The lower your target bitrate, the lower your quality is gonna be. You can export at a higher target bitrate, but it's gonna take a lot longer whenever you're trying to transport this video over to your phone. So I'll then drop this down 6.17 that's fine and then I'm going to select this box that says use maximum render quality and then I'm going to click export when transferring this video over to your phone there's a couple of different options that you have I'm using a Mac so what I do is I'll airdrop it from my MacBook over to my iPhone but there's a couple of other simple options like using Dropbox which you can upload it to Dropbox and then save it to your phone using the app on your phone 
or you can use your Google Drive, which works the exact same. So once you have the video saved to your phone, you're then gonna go download the app Cut Story. I'm gonna click on it, and then we're gonna go down here to where it says Video. I'm gonna go up and I'm gonna select All Photos, and I'm gonna select my video. Just go down here to the bottom right, and then it's gonna give me a couple of options of how to export my video. I'm just gonna select Instagram. And what this is doing is breaking my video down into 15 second clips. Once that's done processing, I'll then open up Instagram. I'll go over here to my stories. I'm gonna click this little box down here in the corner and then I'll select all of my 15 second clips and save them to my story. So if you're just trying to export a normal video for your Instagram feed, there's only a few little changes and it's really, really simple. So first, I'm gonna go up here to my sequence settings and then I'm gonna change my frame size to, I'm gonna leave it at 1080 and then I'll change the horizontal to 1350. And then I'll just press OK. It's going to give me that 4 by 5 aspect ratio. And then I'm just going to press OK. What I can do is adjust the position to however I want my clips to be inside of the frame. And then all I have to do is go up to File, Export Media. And then I'm going to make sure the format is set to H.264. Then you're just going to select mobile device 1080p HD and then change the output name to whatever you want and save it wherever you want. I'm going to name this test with three T's. Hit save. Make sure export video and audio is checked. And then I'm going to select this little box here and that's going to match the source and change my width and height to what I want the actual video to be. Then I'm going to go down here to render at maximum depth. Make sure that's checked as well as use maximum render quality. And then we'll go down to bitrate encoding. And I'm gonna change this. Again, I wanna try to keep this under 100 megabytes. And just press export. And then it's the same process for transferring it over to your phone. You can airdrop it if you're using a Mac, or you can upload it to Dropbox or Google Drive and then save it to your phone and upload it straight to Instagram. If you're just trying to upload a normal video to your Instagram feed, you don't have to use Cut Story. That's only for Instagram stories. Continue to perfect your skills by checking out this video. Edit like a pro by subscribing and hitting the bell so you don't miss anything. I'll see you in the next video.